Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I am okay, finally. So anyway, that was awkward. For today's video, I am going to try on the new Super Mega Ultra Curl from Vice Cosmetics and and so yeah, so I got this yesterday. I ordered this off on Lazada and it was actually pretty fast. It took two days for this one to get here. So that was really fast in my opinion. So it is a volume and length mascara. It has eight grams or 0.28 ounce water resistant volumizing lengthening. And so yeah, it's made in Korea. So that's pretty cool. So it is a squeezy tube packaging and this is what the mascara wand looks like. It looks like a natural bristle, bristle mascara wand. It's not that like plasticky that um, I don't like. It's kind of like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise kind of um, wand where it's like this will be good for volumizing because it has that like soft bristles. Why don't we just try it, right? Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes first. So I'm just curling my lashes. Okay, so I'm going to do this one by one so that I can maximize the curl and you know the other one wouldn't be like down when i'm done with this one for me what i prefer in a mascara is first not waterproof but this is waterproof but i'm trying to like be more open to waterproof mascara because they really hold the curl and so i'm trying to kind of change my opinion on that anyway so So that is one coat and it's pretty decent. I feel like it doesn't hold the curl that well at this point at least. Okay, let's also try lower lash. Okay, so that is one coat on the upper and lower lash line. It's actually not too bad in terms of like the messiness of the mascara. You know when the mascara, when you're doing mascara and some of the mascara gets on the eyelid, it doesn't do that as much because I feel like this, they actually did, I, in my opinion, <laughs> they actually did a pretty standard size wand where for Asian eyes, I feel like this is perfect. If not a little bit big, I prefer this to be a little bit smaller so it will so it will really get every single hair and it would also like not transfer here on my lids. But overall at this point, I'm liking it. But this is just one coat. So let's move on to Let's move on to the next eye. I'm using the Deviant Eyelash Curler. Um, at this point, it's still trying to form my opinion in this one. But for me, the Shuemura Lash Curler is still the best for me. <laughs> it's just super expensive. Okay, so. I need to use my right so you guys can see. Oops, I'm not that ambidextrous. <laughs> oh, the thing about putting on mascara is that you really have to look, like put the mirror below, like almost on your chin and really look down so that you really see the root of your lashes and yeah, just push it up. And I find that this, I can really put the mascara on every single hair. I don't know, just a tip. 
Okay, so that is one coat of mascara on this eye. And it's really nice. <laughs> I'm really impressed at this point. Okay, so I will put this So this is one coat for both of the eyes and as you can see it's it really volumized my eyes and it also lengthened it. Yeah, I would I really like this mascara because also what I really like about mascaras that I like <laughs> is that when the formula isn't too wet, you know when the formula when you first open a mascara and the formula is like too wet, it has a tendency to kind of like clump your your lashes together and it's just like not a good look. And it it's also very hard to work with the first few weeks that you use that kind of mascara. But this one, I can see that like, as you can see, it's it has this like clump of product and it's very like it looks very creamy and for me what what that tells me is that the the formula of this isn't wet for me that is a good thing because it enables me to really like to really build my lashes without having to worry that it would just you know be a that it would just like clump my lashes together because the formula isn't too wet and so I don't have to worry about that. But we'll see. I'll do second coat because I really I really like my lashes to be like volumin voluminous. Okay. So this is second coat. Okay, so that is second coat on my upper lash, upper lashes, up, upper lashes. And now I'm going to build up on my lower lash. Okay, so this is second coat of the Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara. And as you can see, it really made my eye, like, it really emphasized my eye because the mascara is building up nicely on my lashes. Like, you know, when you put on too much mascara, it has a tendency to look very, like, clumpy and spidery. I feel like with this one, even in, like, the second coating of my lashes, it still looks, like, full. It doesn't look... It doesn't look scary, you know what I mean, when like you have too much mascara. But then again, I also like that look. I am very much into, I'm a fan of the Twiggy. I'm a fan of a Twiggy kind of look where the mascara is really like the main focal point of makeup. Like that has always been my thing. And so I don't really mind, but I feel like for a lot of people, this might be a lot, like what's on my eyes. But for me, I really, I really love it. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, so this is two coats of mascara. So should we dare make it three? Why not? <laughs> We're already here. So this is going to be the third coat. Okay, so that is third coat. And I think I'm okay now. <laughs> I feel like it's too much at this point. But, so at this point, it's definitely clumping together. But of course, as you guys saw, as, as what I did, <laughs> with what I did with three coats, I think that tends to happen to a lot of mascaras. But, I feel like I have tried higher end mascara like the Lancome Hip Hypnos mascara. Yeah, that one, even if I build it up, it doesn't look crazy even on the third coat. 
but I feel like the maximum coat for this one to make it look nice on your eyes would be I feel like maximum two coats because the, with this third coat although it looks it looks like false lashes at this point up close it's kind of like scary like it, it's it's looking a little bit spidery already I feel like two coats would be perfect for this mascara and I have to say that I'm really like this is the first local mascara that I actually am really impressed by. I, but also I haven't really tried much local mascaras, but before I just don't have any, I'm gonna be honest, like I just don't have any trust in our local mascara, um, in our local market for mascara, just because I've tried a little bit from Fashion 21, um where else yeah just like those typical mascaras and they just make my lashes look wet and they just they're the formula is really heavy that they don't hold my curl and so i feel like this is the first mascara locally that i really really enjoyed and i i can see myself using this like i'm almost out of this one the cover girl lash blush lash blast active i actually don't like this one i have made my mind that this is not my thing like for natural looks sure this is also i got this in like brown for natural looks sure i like it but it doesn't build up to be a more it doesn't accommodate a more glamorous look and so i feel like this one can do that for me i can make this a more natural look with just one coat or i can just and I can really amp it up to accommodate my more glamorous and heavier makeup look. And I'm really, I love mascaras and I think that they did a really good job with this one. So congrats Vice Cosmetics and and Clutes because this one is really good in my opinion. And I feel like the packaging also in this one is very, it's very innovative. It reminds me of the Ico, Ico mascaras. It's kind of like, I think it's a London based, it's a UK based brand, but they also do their um, mascaras like this. So we're, we really can get like the last bit of mascara. And so I think we can get our money's worth with this one. And it's pretty small, but for what it does and for how much is this? Like 300, 340 pesos. I feel like it's pretty up there because Maybelline sells mascara for like $1.99 or like, you know, something like that. So this is definitely a a pricier mascara in our drugstore, drugstore or like um, department store or like, where else, uh, Watson's. It's definitely a little bit more expensive, but I feel like they can deliver what they are claiming, which is... Um, water resistant, volumizing and lengthening. And so I think this is a nine out of 10 for me. Reason why it's not a perfect 10 because on the third coat, it started to clump together for me. But other than that, I don't have any more cons or any more complaints about this. This one is a good mascara. So if you guys are looking for a good mascara, check this out. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And so yeah, so I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing okay. Bye.